Hey friends, welcome to our channel Education Hub Online. At some point of time, you must have heard about the word diabetes. Well, diabetes refers to a group of conditions characterized by a high level of blood glucose, commonly referred to as blood sugar. Too much sugar in the blood can cause serious, sometimes life-threatening health problems. There are two types of chronic diabetic conditions, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Pregnant women may acquire a transient form of the disease called gestational diabetes which usually resolve after the birth of baby. Pre-diabetes is when the blood sugar level is at the borderline, slightly higher than normal but lower than in diabetics patient. Pre-diabetes may or may not progress to diabetes. During food digestion, carbohydrates break down into glucose which is carried by the bloodstream to various organs of the body. Insulin is a hormone produced by beta cells of the pancreas and is necessary for glucose intake by target cells. In healthy people, beta cells of the pancreas produce insulin and then insulin binds to its receptor on target cells, open glucose channel and induces glucose intake. For more details on pancreas and its hormones, please check out our other video. Link is in description. In type 1 diabetes, beta cells of the pancreas are destroyed by the immune system by mistake. The reason why this happens is unclear, but genetic factors are believed to play a major role. Insulin production is reduced, less insulin binds to its receptor on target cells, less glucose is taken into the cells, more glucose stays in the blood, resulting in high blood sugar. Type 1 is characterized by early onset. Symptoms commonly start suddenly and before the age of 20. Type 1 diabetes is normally managed with insulin injection and type 1 diabetes are therefore called insulin dependent. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas produces enough insulin but something goes wrong either with receptor binding or insulin signaling inside the target cells. The cells are not responsive to insulin and therefore cannot import glucose. Glucose stays in the blood. In other words, Type 2 diabetes are insulin resistant or non-insulin dependent. Here again, genetic factors predispose susceptibility to the disease but it is believed that lifestyle plays a very important role in type 2 diabetes. Typically, obesity, inactive lifestyle and unhealthy diet are associated with higher risk of type 2 diabetes. It is characterized by adult onset. Symptoms usually appear and start after the age of 30. It accounts for about 80 to 90% of all diabetics cases. Management focuses on weight loss and includes a low carb diet. Thank you for watching and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.